Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm John Dickerson in Chicago on the third day of the Democratic National Convention. For the past two days, delegates have stayed up well into the evening to hear from the party's last two successful presidential candidates, outgoing President Joe Biden and his former boss, President Barack Obama. Tonight, they will finally hear the first extended remarks from the current ticket. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will introduce himself to Democratic voters as he formally accepts the party's nomination for president. Walls, the high school social studies teacher and football coach turned congressman turned governor of a reliably Democratic state, will speak to the largest audience of his career. Also speaking tonight, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and the 42nd President Bill Clinton, who 32 years ago was introduced to delegates as their nominee as the Man from Hope, the name of his Arkansas hometown. Hope also made a comeback last night in the remarks of former President Obama and his wife, Michelle. We're feeling it here in this arena, but it's spreading all across this country we love. It's the contagious power of hope. I am feeling hopeful because this convention has always been pretty good to kids with funny names who believe in a country where anything is possible. I want to now bring in my colleague, Lindsay Reiser, who we're from our studio in New York. Lindsay, you've got the rest of the highlights from today, including what's been going on with the Trump campaign. So over to you. That's right. Thanks, John. We'll see you back here later this hour. Former President Donald Trump spoke at a rally in North Carolina earlier today. It was his first outdoor rally since the assassination attempt on his life during a similar event in Butler, Pennsylvania last month. His event today, alongside his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, is part of a packed week of campaign events meant to counter the Democratic National Convention during Trump's remarks. During Trump's remarks, he called out his White House predecessor. Did you see Barack Hussein Obama last night? Take little shots. He was taking shots at your president. And so was Michelle. You know, they always say, sir, please stick to policy. Don't get personal. And yet they're getting personal all night long, these people. Do I still have to stick to policy? CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland is following the Trump campaign from North Carolina. So, Scott, the president talked about some foreign policy, his America first agenda. He also riled the crowd when asked if he should avoid personal attacks. What are some of your key takeaways from today? This was a campaign event that the campaign